Hi, this is the Aussie Fisherman Greg. Um, we, uh, I'm just going to cook up a few of these nice crabs that I've caught the last couple of, oh, I caught it yesterday. Um, we normally, oh, I don't eat a lot of crabs myself because we sell them a lot of the time, but my daughter and I are going to eat these fellas. They're nice big full A grade crabs. So look at this, look at this beauty. He, he's going to be bloody nice. <laughs> we can't wait to get them. So we'll just put them in the. Oh, hang on! I've, I've just got to. I like to put a bit of salt in the in the water because we're not close enough to the ocean to um, use just low, uh, fresh salt water. So, um, so they go in. They go. Uh, I've got to wait till they come back to the boil now, and then once they come back to the boil, um, we'll give them 15 minutes, and then they'll be cooked. Uh, and then I'll show you how to clean the, the crabs and get them ready for eating. And if you, um, we're cooking these on your stove at home, um, it'll probably take 20 minutes because this is really uh, high heat that, uh, with this cooker. And the cooker I got from uh, Island Bar, they make beautiful um, products. Um, they uh, all stainless steel and it'll last you forever. So, I'll just put the lid back on and turn up the turn up the gas and and, uh, and we'll get back to you. Fifteen minutes is up, so I'll switch her off and uh, and get these crabs out of here. Look at that. They look pretty good, don't they? I'll just take them up here. Put them in this. I've got some cold water here ready. Cut the maps off. The ties off. Just want to cool them down a bit, and uh, yeah, then I'll, I'll show you how to how to clean them. Just going to open them up there, pull that back off. Just cool it down a little bit. A bit more. Break, break it in half like that. Now this, all this sort of stuff we just take off. Oh yeah. See it's a beautiful full crab. Look at how that's so much meat in there. And look at the nice nipper. Take all this off. Yeah, all the meat is that all those segments are just top of block. This is a big bowl of this other. Look at that. Now I'll just break off the, the shell. Put the rubbish in there. I just like to just break them in half like that. It's still a bit hot, so it's still in there. Take all that stuff off there. No good for eating. You can blow it. Look at that. Beautiful full crab. Same in the dry. I'll just fill him down a bit. Beautiful meat. Ah, it's a nice little crab too, look, it's all in. I'll just pull that back off like I did with the other. Break it in half. 
Clean and dry, but it's a little bit hot. Look at the meat that comes out, out of the body when you take the nipple out like that. Right. Uh, I'll just show you how I open these big ones up. How to open the nipple up. See, look at that. It's a beautiful nipper. We just be waiting to get we will we'll be waiting to get stuck in it. Yeah, here's another one. How yeah, all that meat comes out with the end of it, but I won't um, do that today. I'll just, just show you how to crack the, the, the top part of the nip open. See is that full you won't can hardly pull him out of the out of the shell. So it's a beautiful looking nipper. Can't wait to get stuck into it. Um, my daughter and I are going to get stuck into these. We haven't had a good feeder crab for ages and uh, I usually sell everything and I said the other day we're going to eat some of these, a couple of these for a change. So um, this is the Aussie Fisherman signing off. We're just going to start getting into them. We'll take them up to the house and we'll make some nice crab sandwiches. Thank you. Bye.